There's a piece of equipment out there that could have saved the lives of several firefighters, but it's not used by many of the men and women currently on the front lines. Tonight, our sister station in Seattle brings us the story of a man who owes his life to that piece of gear. This is what it looks like when you're inside a bulldozer trapped by flames in a wildfire burnover, when a wall of fire scorches right over you. 911, your emergency. I'm in a dozer on Buena Ventura up by Lake Avenue. All the windows got blown out. The dozer operator is desperate and dials 911 from inside his cab. I can't last too long here. Okay, sir, I need you to get out of there, okay? I can't. You know, it's all on fire around it. The frantic call comes during the chaos of what's known as the car fire in Redding, California. It was five years ago, and the state of California had never seen anything like it. 170 mile per hour winds creating a fire tornado. I don't know how long it can last. We're going to get somebody out there as soon as possible if we can, okay? Before hanging up, the firefighter asked the 911 operator to call his wife. Can I give you my wife's phone number? Tell her I love her. Telescope. This is that dozer operator today, Don Andrews, alongside his wife and grandkids. Don made it out of the burnover with barely a scratch on him. Was there a point where you thought, I'm not getting out of this alive? Oh, absolutely. I thought I was done for. When I had talked to the 911 operator. Two firefighters working near Andrews didn't survive. This is a memorial for fire inspector Jeremy Stoke, who died in his truck. Don Smith died in his dozer. In that vicious firestorm, Andrews used a piece of safety equipment the others did not. What are called fire barrier curtains made of multiple layers of aluminum that Velcro to your windows when you're trapped. The curtains can withstand 2,800 degrees, the same temperature as the very hottest wildfires. In this test in Australia, an engine equipped with curtains is pummeled by direct flames. You can see the burn scars on the outside, but inside, nothing is damaged. What do you think about those fire curtains? Oh, saved my life. I'm 100% sure. This is just a sample of where wildland firefighters have died in their trucks dozers and excavators, including three young men working on the 2015 Twisp River Fire here in central Washington. After their brush truck veered off the road, a wall of fire raced over their vehicle. They didn't have fire curtains to deploy. You know, it was really heartbreaking to have those three young men die at such an early age with a product that we've got that could have saved them and get that in a place first. Jim Roth of Los Angeles is the engineer who's created fire barrier curtains that have worked every single time they've been deployed. He started his research after a deadly Colorado wildfire in 1994. 14 firefighters died trying to use their fire shelters in a burnover, including a 29-year-old smoke jumper from Idaho, Roger Roth, Jim Roth's little brother. I was very, very, just angry, just really angry with how could he be taken away at such a young age. And when the loss of Roth's brother led to the development of his curtains, saving the lives of about two dozen firefighters. Life, life's precious. Don Andrews is one of them. And we're good friends today. It's great to have new friends, right? But particularly friends like that, that have told me I thought I was going to die and I got to go home and see my family. Roth's curtains are installed on engines and dozers all over the world. California, Wisconsin, Texas, in Canada, Australia and South Africa. But they're not required or commonly used in the state of Washington. Do you think that the curtain should be mandatory? Absolutely. None of the rigs used by the State Department of Natural Resources has fire curtains installed. DNR wouldn't do an interview, but in a statement, officials said they could create a false sense of security and lead certain operators to proceed in unsafe conditions. I think it's crazy. I think it's just ludicrous. To a survivor like Don Andrews, battling a wildfire without curtains is an unnecessary gamble in an already treacherous profession. 
it'd be ludicrous to ever even show up on a fire without curtains. What are your people worth? Yeah, what are they worth? How easy is it going to be to replace them? But it only takes once to make you a believer. Susanna Frame, King 5 News.